we have the tendency as people to eat foods that are typically junk food when we're in a sad mood or even upset. I'm guilty of this, but that's not good. Hi everyone, it's Charlie T back again with another video. As you can see, I am currently just out and about. I'm on a walk. I wanted to make another video and I'm likely to make another one after this in relation to mental health as um, this Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and even if it wasn't, I'm making this video regardless. I wanted to speak on a few things in general that can not only help improve your mental health, but how it can be maintained, right? In a good, good steady pace. And one of those things that can help is working out. Now, not everyone's the greatest fan of working out, including myself. As much as a physical person I am, like in terms of like cardio, I'm not a fan of like generally actually working out. out. Um, I used to go to the gym, um, especially when I used to dance. Um, I was like heavy and going to gym consistently along with going to rehearsals that helped my body stay, you know, uh, in shape and fit the way it needed to be. However, since after that, um, I was like, eh, I'll do it whenever I want to do it. I eat what I want to eat. But not realizing that has a huge effect on your mental stability. Or it can, I should say. Um, I know for me, I realized that it has a huge effect. So... Rather than, since I no longer have a gym membership, I wasn't paying to not go consistently. And that's neither here nor there in terms to how consistently I could actually go and, you know, be hard on myself versus, you know, just spending the money. Um, not spending the money, I should say. Um, but it's like, oh, uh, you know, I could still work out for free. You know, I'm not one fond of like lifting weights or anything nor do I want to that's not my goal um the only actual goal I do have is to lose belly fat and body fat really um so outside of that I really you know just want to have that handled but even if you don't have a goal in mind set working out can really help your mental just because it's one of those things and again this is kind of coming from a personal um this personal end for me it's just like you feel accomplished you feel like you have achieved something um like i said for me i want to lose body fat so i'm just doing a lot of cardio crunches, push-ups, sit-ups, the basics, you know, that I could do at home or at the park. So what I did uh, today, and what I'm doing now, what I, but what I did even yesterday was I drove to a park right by my house and I am walking. Yesterday I walked for a little over an hour, uh, like over three miles, a little over three miles for that walk. And I really enjoyed Cardio is something that I've always done a lot though, naturally. So of course it's gonna take more than that to really um, get me to lose, you know, get to my goal. However, despite that, it's not even only about that again. Going back to my mental stability, you feel accomplished. You feel like you did something because you actually did. When your body is actually in motion and working, your mind, it goes to a place where it's satisfied, right? Following that, you have to think about what your body is intaking. So that includes water, um, that includes vitamins, and that, of course, that also includes healthy foods. 
Now, again, <laughs> coming from a fellow foodie, uh, I tend to not give a crap about everything I intake that's junk or non-junk. But for the goal that I have, um, physique-wise, and even outside of that, to maintain um, a good stand in my mental, I need to make sure that I'm eating foods that match, you know, a, something that's gonna keep me stable and in a good mood. We have the tendency as people to eat foods that are typically junk food when we're in a sad mood or even upset. I'm guilty of this, but that's not good because all that's gonna do is continue to get you in a even more depressive state. It may cheer you up in that moment. It may feel good even afterwards, of course, because the food is good, it's junk. But at the end of the day, after that, after what you're intaking in your body, your body becomes tired and it goes into a state where it's not feeling accomplished of any sort. So your mind goes to that place as well. And once you're there, it can sometimes be hard to get out. Some of this may not make sense to you folks and I get it. It may not try to understand what I'm saying though. Um, I, if you understand, you understand. But what I'm saying is, even if you're not one to always only eat healthy foods, try to get into a balance with the two between eating a lot of healthy foods and then a side of junk here and there. Treat yourself. I'm not saying you can't have cheat days. And again, this isn't even, this goes beyond the sake of like physical goals and stuff. This goes back to still your mentality and being in a, like, in a good, stable mindset. So, yesterday, for example, even after I had walked, and of course, yesterday, before I went for my walk for an hour, well, over an hour, I had Tim Hortons. I had a steak panini, I had coffee, and a donut. Was that necessarily the healthiest? No. But, again, balance. What it did, after I had walked, uh, not immediately, but later on that afternoon, um, I had ate a salad. And it was really good. And it's not just any carny salad, just like quick in the middle, like, you know, just basic lettuce or anything like that. It was actual salad, healthy. Um, it was my choice. Not because I had to, but because I felt so accomplished after being so physical that, well, physically active, that my mind was like, you know, I feel so accomplished. Let's continue this by intaking something healthy. And once I do that, my mind will continue to be in a good, positive, stable mood to where I want to continue that. And that's what I'm doing. Why? Because it helps not me only physically, but mentally. Now, water, it's a given. You need to drink a lot of water a day. They say there's a certain amount of liters, or gallons, not liters, there's a certain amount of gallons a day you should drink. That a lot of people actually don't actually naturally intake, and I know I for sure don't. However, um, what I do do is I have my water here that I make sure I at least drink two of through the day, if not three. Not only that, I do drink a lot of tea. Outside of coffee, I love my tea, uh, non-caffeinated. I actually um, prefer this brand, it's called Yogi Tea. Um, no, this is not sponsored, but <laughs> let me know if you do, Yogi. Um, they have detox teas that I do enjoy. Um, helps you with different things, different flavors. But um, outside of that, I also, um, you know, drink a lot of 
protein shakes. So, well, I won't say a lot, but enough. So there's non-dairy protein that I do intake as well. Um, just recently again, because uh, um, I was heavy on it when I was going to the gym, I stopped, but I recently got back into it again. Um, Cause again, it's all about what you're consuming. It's not always about what you're physically doing in terms of being active, but it's also what you're intaking and what you decide to do after that. Because in the long run, that's really gonna help your mentality. And for those of you who are going through a depressive kind of mood or unstable kind of mindset right now, try working out. Again, you don't have to go to the gym. Unless you wanna try it, you can. We'll go back to it. You can just simply, like I said, go for a walk or even stay at home. You can, you know, go to your backyard, front yard, porch or anything, stay in your room or kitchen, living room, anywhere. Do jumping jacks, do crunches, push-ups, sit-ups, squats, jog in place. You know, there's a lot of options that you can do for free. You don't have to just stick to going to the gym because that's an option, you know, that's a choice. And once you get into the groove of that, you will start to naturally in your mind want to do other things that want to continue to make the healthier life choice. Um, that way, your mind is continuing to stay positive and you'll start seeing results with not only your skin, but also with your sleep, you'll improve with your mood, you'll improve with your interactions with people and how you want to, you know, communicate with people and it'll help. It'll just help in the long run. So with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, peace.